So I got a comment on my last Super Sim video from 16 Tasia. Hello, I'm your newest subscriber and I love the Super Sim challenge. Edit, which I didn't see at first when I replied to this. Can you please build a house with a rainbow color scheme? That's my favorite kind of gaudy home decor. Well, I went and did a thing. Yeah, so the outside is pretty fluorescent and bright and loud. So I did take a little break on the inside and the inside is not quite as loud. It is pastel mostly, except for a few pieces that didn't come in pastel colors. And I had trouble finding something in pink that wasn't bright fluorescent pink. So it is a little bit less gaudy than the other house, I think, but a little bit more gaudy depending on what your preferences are. And yes, we kept the same bed it, because it comes in rainbow. I had to keep it. I do have a couple of white pieces here and there just because these are the only end tables that will fit between these beds because of how much space I have allocated here. I could make this space bigger, which would make more sense, but I just decided not to do that. Another thing that you might notice is that our little baby Carla here is not quite as blue as her mother, or at least it's a different shade of blue. The shade of blue that Lily is, is one that you can only pick when you make an alien directly in Cas because it has a purplish tint to it. And for some reason, the occult skin colors available to babies are a lighter blue. And so there's no way that I can make them the same skin color because unfortunately this version of Carla did not inherit her mother's skin color. From the last episode, I discovered that I missed a trait. There's a trait if you're conceived in a lighthouse that you actually get a happy buff when you're around lighthouses, which is kind of, you know, doesn't really matter because you can get so many happy buffs that it doesn't really matter that you're missing that one. However, being a completionist, I had to try again. So what I did is Lily got back with her husband, Trenton Barron, who happens to be an elder now. So luckily he was still alive and we had a bunch more kids. She has a lot more siblings now and our old Carla is now Janae. So Janae is the old Carla. We uh, put her in a home with her other sisters and so we have a new Carla who is going to be taking on the challenge. And I did go back and get all of her milestones that she had before, so we will not have to redo them. So she has fine motor, put toe in mouth, learn to grab, learn to reach. She has a bunch of first, peed on caregiver. This was hard to get because for some reason, I just couldn't get her to pee. And the reason was I kept changing her diaper on the changing table right after she peed. So she didn't have any need to pee her bladder need was full. So what you have to do in order to get this is you can actually choose use your diaper at any time. And even if the infant doesn't need to pee, choose use your diaper and then go back and wait for the infant to be maybe 75% on bladder need. You don't want it to be too low because if it's in the yellow, they sometimes autonomously use their diaper again. And you don't want that to happen. You want to put them on the changing table when they have a need to pee and then you'll get that peed on caregiver. First visitors, that was easy. First baby food. Slept through the night was a little bit of a challenge because we did have a wiggly infant who also loves wake up time and is an early riser. So yeah, that did take some time, but we did get it. We got first bath, first bubble bath, first diaper blowout. And gross motor, we have pulled to stand, learned to crawl, learned to creep, learned to sit up, rolled over on tummy, rolled over to back, and lifted head. So the only one we're missing for gross motor is learned to dance. Life, we did born at a hospital so that I could get a birth certificate. Social, we have learned to babble, learned to laugh, learned to coo, and first smile. Now, the only thing about this house is that it is pretty cool. However, a lot of the milestones that I need to get next involve going somewhere else in another house because I need to visit family members. I need to go on a vacation. And then I'm also going to do the seven nights in a haunted house, which, yeah, we're going to have to move basically because you can't go on a vacation to a haunted house. You have to actually move. I could just set this lot to haunted house versus tiny home, but where's the fun in that? I have to make a haunted house that looks haunted. I can't just stay in this house and call it a haunted house. It's just not me. 
oh, we have a money, money, give me now situation. Okay, I'm not going to get her married. I just don't feel like it. We'll say under what conditions. I forgot what her name is. Her name is Kathy Conroy. Okay, so I, I completely forgot what her name was for a minute. But for those of you who haven't seen any other episode, this is the Super Sim Challenge and my name is Charity. We're going to be doing all of the milestones and all of the skills, all of the aspirations, all of the careers with this baby. And this baby has the trait it's Wiggly, Greater Wolf Blood, Father Winter's Baby, Ancient Bloodline, Sulani Mana, and then she has these other traits that are infant quirks, Self Soother, Loves Wake Up Time, and Early Riser. So basically she has all of the traits that you can possibly have by being born. The ones that are hidden are she is half alien and she also was conceived in a lighthouse. Okay, so let's change her diaper and give her some food and then we'll work on the first visit to a family member's house. All right, for food, we have smashed avocado loves, papaya paste likes, she dislikes mashed peas and crushed carrots, she likes yogurt, loves applesauce, doesn't like mashed mango and oatmeal cereal, and she likes homemade hummus. And for some reason, I skipped p sweet potato puree. Okay, we'll try that one next. Okay, she's unsure about that one. I am surprised about how many foods she is unsure about. I think by feeding her food in the high chair, you actually get a chance to get the pincer grasp milestone so that's why I keep feeding her food even though she's already had her first baby food milestone and there she got it her pincer grasp milestone is now unlocked and now she can have finger food we'll just give her some pumpkin puree first and she's also unsure about pumpkin puree the adults are a little tired so we'll just have Carla wiggle to the music and see if she can get her learn to dance milestone because she has to have something to pull up on and these benches work great for that as long as there's nothing else in the room she will choose to pull up on that why are you using your diaper i mean see that's what i mean she wasn't even in the yellow and she chose to pee in her diaper another thing i've discovered is that if you give the baby a nap even though it takes up your sims time it will give them three up arrows of energy so the infant will sleep much quicker and they regain all of their energy faster than if they were in a crib or a playmat or on the ground all right now that she's awake let's go visit her sisters first visit to family member unlocked even though it's the middle of the night and her sister melissa baron i aged her up to a teenager so that she could take care of a lot of the other siblings and i redid this apartment they actually got a three bedroom two bath apartment but all of the beds were basically for adults so i changed them out for toddler beds since all of the siblings are now toddlers Except for one. I think we do have one infant somewhere. I'm not sure where she is. Maybe we should make some food for these toddlers because I don't want them to starve while I'm here. Okay, I see all six toddlers, but where is the infant? I don't see an infant anywhere in here. Oh, there she is. I figured she was outside. No, that's not going to work. Let's go bring you inside. And we're just gonna go wiggle to the music. What was that? That toddler put that toy in his mouth. Oh, right, most of these are werewolf kids. I just saw that toddler put that toy in his mouth and shake it like a dog. I'm not sure if I'm okay with that. And now he's destroying the dollhouse. Okay, Carla's getting kind of hungry. So we're going to put her in the high chair. Oh, she likes sweet potato puree. Okay, now we're going to try some finger food. Odios. Oh, she doesn't like Odios. Okay, maybe we should not let you finish that then. You don't like them. So she got her milestone for it though. Okay, we'll give her some peanut butter puffs. Oh, do you like those, Carla? Janae is just standing behind Carla watching her. She has the purple skin, but I think Carla's going to be stuck with blue skin. So I think I will be okay with changing her back to the skin she was originally given, which was like a lighter complexion. So let me know in the comments if you think I should use a normal complexion for Carla or stick with the blue. She likes peanut butter puffs. Let's try yogurt melts. Come on, Carla, I need you to fill your belly. I think after I try all of the foods, we're just gonna stick to formula because formula is just so much faster. And you are making a mess. And Carla's getting tired again. So I think we're just going to go home and rest up for our vacation. 
Apparently you can acquire the guitar skill from watching music TV. Yeah, sure. And it's Love Day. We probably won't do anything for Love Day. That's just for adults. Trenton wants to go on a date. No, sorry, Trenton. All right, let's go on a vacation to Granite Falls. Should we invite anyone else? I guess we'll invite Trenton. I keep forgetting Trenton is a werewolf. I don't know if that'll be a good idea or not, but it is Love Day. And we got our first vacation. So what I did before coming out here is actually outfit this cabin with some toys and some infant things because you can edit these lots as long as you're not currently on vacation in them. So we had to do that because there wasn't a high chair, there wasn't a play mat, there wasn't a crib, and... We don't really need the changing table, but I thought it would be nice. I did put some things upstairs, like a changing table, but we don't really need all these extra beds. So what we're going to do is assign this one to Kathy. And then the downstairs is going to be for Lily and Trenton. Now, I could actually allow Trenton to live with us, but like I said before, he's a werewolf. So it has this nice, convenient little area in here. I'm going to lock him in this little room if he starts to rampage. Um, I just realized that actually, no, I can't do that because he's not part of the household. Okay, um, this may have been a bad idea, but it is love day. So I wanted to try to get to know Trenton and have them have a happy love day, but it may not be possible. Oh, right. And I put the simple living lot trade on here. Great. I have to order groceries. Oh, he gave me a rose. How sweet. Oh, she actually unlocked the dance milestone while I wasn't watching. Okay. Okay, dancing to the music doesn't look any different than wiggling to the music. That means she's done with all her, her gross motor and we need to work on fine motor, social, firsts, and that should be it. Oh no, now he's very angry. Okay, good. They can deliver to vacation spots. Oh no, she disliked pumpkin. All right, new food. What about smashed lemon? I don't know of any kid that would like smashed lemon right off the bat. Oh, she likes it. Yeah, that's not likely. Oh, she loves ice cream. That's no surprise. And she likes rice porridge. So that's all of the baby foods. Now we just have to try all the finger foods. And for some reason, when it was nighttime, Trenton actually left. So hopefully he's in a good mood and can control himself. Oh, she still doesn't know she likes yogurt melts. That's kind of dumb. Let's try banana slices. Oh, she likes banana slices. Okay, we just have to like or not like yogurt melts. And then we will be done with trying all the foods. That's not really necessary in order to get all their milestones, but it's just kind of something to do. And not to mention the fact that I think doing finger foods in the high chair helps with her fine motor skills. So hopefully she might get something else like clapping or waving. And she likes yogurt melts too. All right. That's enough of the food. Oh no, what's happening over here? Uh, okay. They woohooed. I'm pretty sure that wasn't try for baby though. No, there's no pregnancy test option. I don't think that they can do that autonomously. Okay, there's only four more hours on this vacation, but I think what we're going to try and do is go to a park. Okay, and a national park counts. But Carla's kind of tired, so we'll give her a nap. Now, I did bring everything with me in order to have a camping trip. You know, I have a grill. I have a refrigerator. I brought the containers of all the potions, the magic items, the shower, a tent. I brought everything, even these infant items that you can place. But um, we really didn't have a chance to do very much because we were at the cabin the entire time. And of course, with infants, they can't go inside tents. So if it was raining, it wouldn't be a fun experience with an infant. So I decided that we just keep all the stuff in the inventory as a backup. And if Trenton decided to turn into a werewolf, then we would go camping. And I guess Kathy decided to go hiking. Okay, and the vacation is over.
All right, now the only first milestone we have left is survived seven nights in a haunted mansion. So I guess we should move and get that started. It's kind of disappointing to leave the rainbow house so soon, but let me know in the comments, should we come back to this house after the seven nights in a haunted house? Oh, I didn't paint that wall. Whoops. Anyways, should we come back to this house after seven nights in the haunted house? Or should we put it back to the way it was or do something different? If you have any ideas, maybe your comment will be the most upvoted and we can do that. Now, it's kind of funny because I actually don't like horror movies, but I just love haunted stuff. I love haunted mansions. I love gothic decor and vampire decorations. The vampire pack is awesome. So I've made this castle-like thing. I mean, it's kind of like a small castle. I actually enjoyed making this. So we have these turrets up top. And unfortunately, with the round walls, you can't put very much in it. But I did manage to put a couple of things in here. And then downstairs, we have basically a haunted mansion. And I know it's a little gaudy. And um, let's put all the lights on. Thank you. That's one bad thing about haunted houses is that the lights always go off. So I turn all of the lights into candles. So hopefully we will have light most of the time because it's going to be very annoying if we don't have light. So this bedroom is going to be for Lily and it's an all red and gold bedroom. We have a bathroom connected to it. And these little coffin rooms are just kind of for decoration. They're actually not going to be used for anything. And this is going to be Kathy's bedroom, all in blue and kind of turquoisey green a little bit. And then we have the nursery over here for Carla in purple. And we have a dining room, dining table, and I did turn on a lot of the lot challenges. So this is going to be interesting. I wonder if our food comes with us. It does, but we did not pick up all of our vacation food. Oh, that's so annoying. I should have taken all of the food out of the refrigerator from the vacation. Because we'll actually have simple living here too. So that's going to be annoying. So we'll be here for the next seven days. And after we get done with the Haunted Mansion, I'm basically going to move back into Del Sol Valley. And I, I, I like the haunted house, but it is a little bit annoying after a while. So we're going to basically use this as a temporary situation. And here is the basement. So we do have a seance table here so we can try and make things a little bit easier on ourselves. And then there's like a bar and a wine cellar and I just love building this. The, this will be on the gallery if anybody's actually interested in downloading it. So Carla is a little tired, so we'll put her to bed for now. Welcome, in a cruel twist of fate, you've ended up in a haunted house, possibly by the hands of some malevolent mastermind, controlling your every action. Maybe make the most of it. Surely there's a good reason to be here. I can handle this. All right, first things first, we got to get some grub going. Well, the week is almost over. I know this was a short week, but it's because I started on a Thursday due to the fact that I had to redo Carla's birth. So I redid all the milestones as well, and that's just where we ended up. So this is Charity. Thanks for watching.